Hi, and welcome to the last episode of uh, Marcus Park Mega Park. This is going to be episode number 26. It's going to be the final run through. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to show you the park as it is. It's completed form uh, from the beginning to the end. Not going to necessarily cover any areas in um, the order that they were actually built in, but uh, for the most part, you're going to try to keep it all into the same areas just for a little bit of continuity sake. So here we go, starting out. We're at the main entrance. This was the very first episode, and I built the main entrance. Put in uh, the first two rides was the Neptune's Fury, and then of course the, the red and white uh, slide. Uh, the first roller coaster that I built was um, this one right here, the first wooden coaster, it's the Tiberius. Uh, with the red and white theme going on. I did a lot of decorating uh, with it after I built it, especially around the, uh, you can see the, uh, the train house there where it, it goes out of the station, down through the train house, and then up into the, the main hill. So you also caught Romulus and Remus there, which are, were two um, flat rides. And here's my, actually the second roller coaster I built. It's quick, it's uh, simple, it's easy. It's called Tribune. Basically it's a power launch. Just goes back and forth. But it, it was a, a cheap, quick fix and thrill. There you go, you get another look at Romulus and Remus, which they're basically loopers. Coming up there, um, the Pride of Rome, which is a, a big drop roller coaster. That uh, was probably the, uh, uh, I spent probably the second most amount of time building it. It took a little bit of time to get done, and actually, after I had uh, published it, I had to go back and change it a little bit because its stats were a little bit rough. So I changed it up a little bit and uh, basically put in a couple breaks and uh, smoothed it out because it had some really rough patches where it was all red. So, um, but I'm proud of that. It's it's pretty good, uh, pretty good ride in the once again in the Roman red and white, uh, red and white theming. We got the two more flat rides here. We got the Roman Spike, which is basically a drop tower, and then uh, the Roman Mace, which is a variation of the, uh, um, I guess, the uh, ride where you, you sit and you, you spin. I don't know what it's called. But, uh, and then there's the main carousel, yeah, kind of like the centerpiece. It's not exactly dead center of the park, but it's pretty darn close. Now we're going to drift you over here into the Wild West sector. Uh, this was the second sector of the park that I built. Um, it kind of had a Wild West theme. And while we're over there on this edge, you get to see the aqueduct, which is basically a... Um, or water splash, uh, water splash ride that I, I built. Uh, you can see it there. I put a little bit of time and effort into it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the second coaster, big coaster I built, or actually this is the third, second Woody is a um, the Gunslinger. You see the Gunslinger there. Has some pretty good stats. I did a lot of uh, work on that one because I had built a pond and I built the coaster around the pond, and of course I filled it in with trees and whatnot. So. Uh, got the uh, better part of it there. A few more flat rides of a Ferris wheel, a roundup, uh, the rust bucket, which is basically uh, uh, one of those things where you just shoot up. I don't even know what you call it. Uh, come to find out here that my uh, Rattlesnake Ridge, uh, it wasn't broke down, but it, it's fairly old and the cars got stuck. So I got to fix that while we're here get them uh, up and running again uh, because it's it won't work very good if uh, people stand in line all day and don't get to ride to ride so um, it's been a while since I've had a coaster just get stuck like that shows you that I on my design my design flaw was maybe not as a uh, I thought it was good right? a good design but maybe it is not as good of um, design as I had hoped for. Maybe it should have been just a little bit lower. Keep it keep it going as it got older. 
And there we go. There's your bumper cars hidden back in the woods. Now here, here's the same ride, but I put them together on purpose and called them uh, the um, wash, I think it's wash tubs and wash buckets. Dry gulch, wash, wash tubs. Um, because I, I kind of had them intermixed, intertwined. Not that they're actually racing, but uh, they do have a lot of interaction with each other. And I thought that was kind of cool. But uh, here's my, my baby. Of every thing I've got in the park, I like this ride the best. Um, Dangerous Mine, the mine train. I think I it's one of my better designs. I think I did a really, really good job on it. I like the way it's themed up. I like the way it, it interacts with itself and how it goes through the woods and uh, I spent a lot of time and effort uh, building those um, those hills and those uh, mountains that it goes into why not there's my barbecue house basically it's a it's just a room that's uh, kind of sunken in a little bit there and it's got a bunch of different uh, restaurants and shops and then I put some theming on it to make it look like it's uh, cooking all the time so I'm going to come back here, staying in the uh, Wild West area there. There's my haunted house, the entranceway going across uh, like a little moat area there. Um, and then there's a little couple of little restaurants right there off to the side, right next to it. Now we're starting to get into the jungle themed area. This wasn't the, the next section I built after um, the Wild West was actually the uh, castle, but it's on the other side of the park. So. We're kind of going around kind of in a semicircle kind of thing here. So now we're in the jungle section. Notice the pipeline, uh, it's a water raft. I don't know what else you would call it. But uh, I had a couple comments on it. A couple people said they really liked it. Thought it was pretty good. I, I spent a little bit of time and effort uh, making it uh, go through the uh, tunnels and whatnot as it was. And, uh, unlike my... Uh, Rattlesnake Ridge, this one, it hasn't got stuck yet, and those are most prone to getting stuck. All right, here's one that I, I built up a lot, um, roller coaster, and it's called, um, what is it called? Oh, I forgot what I named this coaster. Oh, uh, the Jungle Vine, yeah, and it goes up, it goes into a mountain, and then the, uh, the actual track itself is a spiral chain and it goes up through the center of the mountain comes out on the top and then lets you go down and around racing through the track area so I'm gonna move over to the food court area where we've got some food courts and places to sit whatever there's the rusty wheel a flat ride basically that's a fun one and here's the jungle gym uh, this one I built uh, it's got a uh, it's a launch and it uh, goes into the first hill which is not, not chain driven it's just a what they call a top hat where it goes up turns inside itself and comes back down into it and it does a lot of um, interaction with itself up and down and, and crossing over uh, a couple different loops uh, besides the top hat it's got uh, a couple of um, corkscrews in it um, it's not a bad uh, not a bad ride it's uh, built amazingly just on some pretty much flat territory there. Which leads us to our, our next coaster. Uh, this is a pretty big one. I spent a lot on it. The Serpent. Um, you see it's got a really high rating and whatever. It's, um, it goes through there a lot. Uh, one of the stories I told on this one is that when I first built it, it had a crash on it while I was testing it nobody died but uh, I had to go back and rework a little bit of the track to make sure that it it worked and it turned out okay and then there you're looking at my jungle river that was a, a ride that I added into that corner there because it was kind of empty and I did a lot of, spent a lot of time theming that uh, um, probably a good uh, hour building the uh, the theme and that, that area it's not a very big long but it's pretty cool and I would uh, Moving on over into the Egypt area, this one is a junior coaster, and it's called the Scarab, and it's got some nice little little twists and turns in it. It's a family coaster. 
this one is called the Desert Scorpion. I like this one because it's a it's a chain that launches, pulls you up the chain, and then drops you. If you take a look at the way I, I built it, if you kind of squint your eyes a little bit, it kind of looks like it might be a scorp the body of a scorpion with its the, the two claws hanging out and the tail sticking up in the air. Uh, I, I think I did pretty good on it because the pathing goes up underneath it so the people get to walk underneath the, uh, the corkscrews as they uh, go through that area. Then here you go, here's the next coaster, it's a, it's a spinning coaster, uh, the Desert Camel. It's uh, my idea of a family coaster, it's not got a lot of really awesome stats on it, but it it is uh, kind of um, a neat, unique, it gives you a little area to go around the Sphinx there. And here we go, you're getting a look now at the, uh, uh, my uh, area here where I've got the uh, a few more flat rides I put in. Put in a, a maze, and I put in a swinger, and a uh, rotating uh, observation tower. So that way um, people can get a good view of, of the park. This is one of the last coasters I built here, the Desert Wind. I built it all the way up and around uh, a um, pyramid. I put it as a walkway that people could go walk to, and then I put some water down there so they could stand out and look at it. I spent a lot of time on that one too. Another one I spent well over an hour working on just for that. And here's, this is actually the last coaster I built called Pompeii. Once again, I spent about an hour working on it too to get it up and running. You just saw it, it was the last episode before this one. And here we go, moving on in to the, uh, not the final section, but uh, this one was the, the um, the castle section where there's my uh, log flume ride uh, Royal Lumber Mill it was pretty popular when I first uh, built it uh, I put a lot of time and effort into it it was there was so much work I had to do now I spent probably two hours on that one and there was so much work into it I just I couldn't see making a video of it I just went ahead and and built it and uh, then showed it to you there's another flat ride trebuchet which fits in with the per theming perfectly. Now this coaster here, this is the, the Brave Knight. I got a couple comments on it when it said it wasn't their favorite. In fact, I got a negative comment that it didn't like it at all. Well, it's not one of my better coasters, I'll admit it. And it, it probably I could have done it better. Uh, maybe could have or should have. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's not, not my favorite type of coaster to build anyway. So here we go, here's the bobsled ride, and it gave it the, it's called the Black Death, and it gave it the Rat Coasters, and this one I had fun with uh, making it, I thought the theming was, was pretty spot on, and uh, you go through that when all the, uh, the queue line is all buried up in the mountain, and then the coaster goes around, and it's got a couple of um, little twists and turns in it, uh, all in all it's, it's really pretty good. So you're getting a, a good aerial view here of the uh, um, the castle themed area. So that's the park in its entirety, as you can see it. Uh, I spent a lot of time and effort into. We started this project way back. I think it was back in September is when I had my first episode. So it's been ongoing. Um, I got some ideas for another park. So I'll, I'll leave that up to you if you want to see it or not. It could be coming up in the very near future. But uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. And uh, we're going to leave you with the way it started. Just kind of a zoom out of the park. And everybody have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.